renewable poses a very, very interesting proposition. Because on one hand, allow me to be controversial, we just believe that the energy crisis in Africa is somehow being forgotten at the altar of the renewable strategy in Africa. To me, the renewable still remains a very important, but a subset of the overall energy solution for Africa. And I'm really scared that the world is choosing to forget that, okay? Having said that, after all, we are financiers. We have commitments to, to be met with investors who put money behind us. So the renewable one is an interesting one, I said, because firstly, because of the renewable debate, we have access to large pools of capital, increasingly large pools of capital, at fairly attractive costs of prices looking for projects in Africa. So that helps. The second is that, as I was saying earlier on, it is not lost on African policymakers that renewable has to be the way to go because they can see the direct impact of climate changes more than other parts of the world. The third reason why, as financiers, we are loving the renewable idea is that because of all the other challenges that traditional power, base, power generation has, because you tend to have to build them much larger, et cetera, is you can go off-grid. You can go into much more local, community-based, regional-based solutions, which you can control better as a financier as opposed to depending on the state grid and the state utility company and all the risks that come with it.